guys, Who Blown Way Back. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. Shane. Eric. And we are back with Doctor Who. We're celebrating the 50th anniversary. Mm-hmm. With a, Who week? With a thing that was made for the 50th anniversary. I believe this is... I think this is the most requested thing that we add into our lineup of Doctor Who. Okay. Really? Um, and I've never seen it. You've never seen it? Ooh, really? I've not. Um, it's called An Adventure in Space and Time. Okay. Okay. So, so every episode is. Um, yes, it is. Um, I believe that was also like... It was called that because, like, on the radio and stuff, that's how they, like, pitched it. Okay. You know? Like, you should join. You know, watch Doctor Who. It's an adventure in space and time. My favorite aging horror. First episode wasn't an adventure in space and time. That happened concurrently, and we didn't time travel or go to space. Uh, we were in time, though, right? Gotta go back in time. And they were in a point in time. No. In no! Space. But, anyway, no. so that's what we're going to be watching. Um, I don't know a ton about this, but uh, we'll dive into it. And I know that this is going to be one of Shane's favorite things, because... It's not going to be picking up exactly where we left off last time. So, okay. okay. Big Teddy. Big Teddy's in it? No, I don't believe so. Um, and I'm not also not... Jack Coleman in it? I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure either if this is more of a documentary style type of thing. Or okay. if it's more of a, like... Eric, get else. back here. No titties. Sure. Hang on. Get back here. I'm sure I'll show you mine if we have I'm to. I'm sure okay. there's right. some titties somewhere. All right, guys, with Doctor Who 50th anniversary, uh, we are going to be having this whole week, not the whole week, but several days through this week are going to be yes. having Doctor Who. Celebration. Including, uh, we had Save the Day that we already did, that yep. little trailer mm-hmm. thing, and now we're going to be having an adventure in space and time. Okay. And then there's a few more coming uh, throughout the rest of the week, all in preparation of Day of the Doctor. Which so, is a thing. Which is a thing. It'll be out on Wednesday. And in fact, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's already out. So make sure you guys check that out on Early Access over at Patreon and or our website. Who Wednesday. It's old. David Bradley. That's a uh, Filch, isn't it? Isn't that David Bradley? Hmm. Brian Cox! No, I said tits, Calvin! <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> now, is this current or is this old? Filming looks current. It's current. Oh, a police officer came out of the police box. Yeah. It wasn't a TARDIS, okay. Is that what happened? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I think it was like a, it was a police box. It genuinely was, yes. Mr. Holmes, they're asking for you now. Calvin, you know who William Hartnell is? Yeah. Did he play the first doctor? He's the first doctor. Because that's, I recognize that wig. I was going to say, yeah. I recognize the name. So this isn't in the Doctor Who universe. This is in ours. Oh, it's a set! (laughs) Oh, they made a movie about Doctor Who that's not Doctor Who, but it is. Oh, look at that Cyberman. Okay. Fucking awesome. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Everyone smoked man back then, dude. Morning, no. You're smoking! It's like getting to see the first doctor again, too. Yeah. What a great actor to play him. If I recall, the first time Cyberman showed up was the last episode that the first doctor was in. Okay. One year ago. Oh, two years ago. Two. two. Three. Okay, sure. Three years ago. <laughs> Six years were a good time. Sydney, New Head or Drew? It was the last time I took a look. What accent does he have? Is that an American accent? And we had good enough camera connectivity back then to be able to it's radio waves show that stuff. To or delay. Yeah. Yeah. They've never had a female producer here. Sit down. Seems like a New York accent. You're just yeah. I imagine he's brought over from America. That's all they ever offer me: crooks and perishing sergeant majors. Look at you, silly girl. <laughs> he's like uh, we all like Peter, Peter like Manning. That. We'll have the news team in here. He has a great voice. If he had an American accent, he would be like, Damn it! Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Who is that again? From Independence Day? Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's for kitties. Oh. Uh-oh. He's a great face. I could totally see him playing the first Doctor from yeah. the I've seen. Cavemen and doctors and, and disappearing bloody police. Oh, I recognize him. We can't do anything there. It's a broom cupboard. It's smaller on the inside. Wrong shape, isn't it? Yeah, it's Davos. That's right. It'll never work. <laughs> when do we start? <laughs> <laughs> it's smaller on the inside. I, I missed like half of it because I was like, yeah, I. <laughs> but okay, so he's the director. Whiskey and soda, choppy choppy, choppy choppy, choppy choppy. <laughs> Ooh. How do you do it? Brian's house keys. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> it's what you do so well, Mr. Hartnell. Stern and scary. <laughs> but with a twinkle. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so you ever seen this, Aaron? No. It's 
neat. I wasn't really sure. I knew kind of an idea of what it was, but I didn't know exactly what it was. This is really cool. I need time to plot out all the buttons, you see. <laughs> I need to know what they all do. Uh, what if I press something to open the doors and the next week I use it to blow us all up? You must see that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I got an idea, I said. The Avengers. <laughs> What's there about this, Adam? How the hell should I know, I said. <laughs> What a title. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, pop, pop. So nuanced. So many layers. There's that light on thick. Mm hmm. Stroke the ego a little bit. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. It's gonna be many things. Find a way to deal with this stuff. Or are you out of your depth? Yep. That's how you do it. Mm hmm. Gotta learn how to deal with this stuff. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> he like, grabs like a gun. Like, yeah. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, see? Pop, pop, pop. Look, this is what he, this is real Sydney. Oh, wow. Wow, that looks good. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. All right, get this set built. Uh, I hate little holes. They freak me out. <laughs> Anyone else hot? Yeah. I thought we'd be used to it. What? Nothing. Move the camera. Move the, Move the bloody camera. <gasps> what the hell? Just tape them shut. Oh, five minutes later. What? What the hell happened? Oh, the camera. The heat? Well, yes. <laughs> Didn't a lot of this old footage get lost? A lot of episodes. Lot of stuff. They don't have mm -hmm. anymore. Never really done anything like this before. Oh, I just want to protect him. <laughs> yeah. Never looked at that man and thought, oh. Yeah. You know? Right? <laughs> Four edits in a whole show. It's. it's it's so bloody primitive. Four edits. I don't even know what that what they mean. Yeah, what the like fuck? Cuts is? or yeah, four cuts. Because of the film. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cliffhanger. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <gasps> We're also trying one of Tony Hancock's writers, Terry Nation. Ooh. Yes, it's good. Recognize that name. Rule one: no robots. <laughs> Rule two. No bug-eyed monsters. The Dalek is like a robot with a bug eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this time in a few weeks. Episode one will have aired. A few weeks, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, so I had to do a whole lot of posts. A dog? Exterminate. <laughs> Exterminate. Who got shot? We announced that President Kennedy. Oh. So that aired around the time of this aired, I guess. Then. Yeah. So it didn't have much hype going for it because of the news cycle. I feel like I remember that in history they relaunched the premiere again. Mm. Oh, poor man, I want to hug him. Well, I my grandpa to share a cigar or something. <laughs> <laughs> I cry. You're not to do any more than these four episodes you've already got in production. Oh. Kill it, Sydney. Seen the Doctor Who. How does he maintain that mustache? <laughs> That's crazy. Like it's half his day. Jesus, Dorlocks. Dorlocks! Whatever! It's my dad's saying Pokemon. You better be right about these. Daleks. There you go. Your neck's on the block. I think how often it happens in real life and then the show doesn't do well. Right? Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, sometimes the material is good. It just fucking luck. Well, look at Firefly where they messed up the order of the show. Fucking luck, yeah. You know? Your voice freaked me the fuck out. Yeah, yeah it was super low. Well. I was like, yeah. yeah. How often does this happen in real life? This <laughs> guy in a Dalek. Hee <laughs> <laughs> uh, hee! So fun. Judge your I keep thinking. Being one of those. Like, Matt Smith's gonna just show up at the end. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that probably won't happen. You will move ahead of the Ah, the voice. So good. Love it. I said immediately! <laughs> That's good. No! How long have we been watching Doctor Who? A while now, right? Yeah. Sure, I'm tearing up for some reason. For this guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be great. Sydney wants you, Parity. Oh, I hope it's good it's news. Good. It's gotta be good news. I shave my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the show does well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good. Hey, we're, you're canceled. I feel, I feel the tension now. Yeah. Ten million viewers for your bug-eyed monsters. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. What do I know about it? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm so happy for her. Yeah. Yeah. response. What do I That's know like, about anything? <laughs> it's like... Half the viewers are ferocity. It's you. Yeah. 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 Can you imagine with inflation what we would have got back then? Like, how's it the same thing? Does it work? <laughs> yeah. People are inflated now. 
Our great big fat enormous dip. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, be careful. Jeez. That is. He just, he just falls on the statue. The Indian man just did a fun flip. Oh, oh, where are we going? 1964 next year. I want the guy to be smoking and laughing and money keeps falling. <laughs> Check the fornicator. Fornicator. <laughs> I, I assume he's. Some moments like he's having some kind of issues. No one's irreplaceable. <sighs> oh! Jeez. Man, I've never seen anybody do that. Never seen anybody pop a balloon. My cigarette. dad's done that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm black. yeah. I can see that. Yeah. It's the first thing I thought of. I've been offered a passage to India. One way? Still, I hope you never change. <laughs> the director's out. Yeah. It's going to come on. Can I please have your autograph? <laughs> uh. He is like Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> How did all those children just happen upon him in that moment? The path was clear before. Same way zombies do. Look at, look at him. him. Oh, look at him. This is great. Maybe you had to go on an adventure with the doctor when you were yeah. kid. Hey, sweet, sweet money to do this. <laughs> yes. Now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Richard Martin. You there? Yeah. I can see it now. It's a director, Richard Martin. Oh, oh, look. look. The dogs take London. Yep. Why is it we always seem to have to go again because of you? Well, in a way, do I? You all try being in here. This class is one of the best things. This should be the real voices. <laughs> you will, <laughs> mate. <laughs> There's more to life than just screaming at nasty monsters. That's no way to talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> this season's moving on. Yeah. He doesn't like the farewells, does he? No, he does not. Just. Stepping off for a minute, Warris. Did he forget? He has to know. They had a goodbye party. He's been doing that a lot lately. <sighs> I don't want to see this. I want him to be Doctor Who for 50 more years. <laughs> well, that was interesting. But if there's anything you can do to lift the burden from his shoulders, you know, let him slow down a little. I'll have a quiet word with my successor. Oh, she's leaving the show. Look at those things. What are those? Mothman, West Virginia. I want to see them return to Doctor Who. I'm glad to have the chance to talk to you. You're my rock, Meredith. Oh. You know that, my, my rock. I don't know about that. <sighs> my arse is a red butter. <laughs> what? I don't know, it sounds pretty great. All right, when you're ready, Bill. Best of heart not to you, Sonny. I don't know who you are. Flick the switch and the door's open. No, no, can't do that. Beg pardon? I'd have to move around to the other side. That's where the, That's where that button is. The uh, glass cylinder should be going up and down. Is there going to be a guy in there to make it go up and down, or what? Okay. Okay, okay. I don't know how this guy dies. I don't know if he's like a yeah. shock and set. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Dies as the doctor. I'm like, oh, that's badass, but still. They filmed his death and then just made a regeneration over it just to keep it going. It's kind of be a bad taste. <laughs> that would be. Yeah. be terrible. We're looking at ways of refreshing it, uh, regenerating it. Well, yes. So innocent. <sighs> she got a pension or something. It's, I mean, it's good for him. He needs yeah. a break. I don't want to go. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> the tennis said. I can't stand old men crying. I know. It's always the worst. I told them, you know, there's only one man in England who can take over. Who? Oh. Couldn't I get him? <laughs> <laughs> you need to teach him all the buttons. Yeah, he's like the only one who'd know. Space and time. I knew about uh, Bradley being in there. 
So yeah. I, I was like, I'm not sure exactly if it was like a documentary or how it worked oh, out, okay. but I, I really liked the way that it, it showed it. Left me in tears. Yeah. Yeah, it was really you good. Shane called out much, much earlier. I was still surprised when Matt Smith showed up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I wasn't based on like any educated guess. Like, I actually, the, the longer it went on, the more I thought it was wrong. Sure. Because I'm like, well, this is just a... His, his, I guess I was wondering historical if, yeah. movie. I was wanting to know, like, as soon as we saw Bradley, and I was like, okay, so they're going to be telling like a real story about the making of Doctor Who, because mm-hmm. he had been in Doctor Who already, that actor. So I thought, like, oh, maybe like we'll see like other cameos, other actors playing real people, you know? But I don't think we did. I don't I didn't recognize recognize anybody that previously been in Doctor Who since I've seen it. So there's but, somebody is actually. There? I think. The actress that played Verity may have been in a she had, previous I recognize her. I think. Really strongly, but I can't She's place her. It's weird. I watch Mad Men like four times through, mm-hmm. and the Kenny assassination is in there. And sure. it's in the, about the advertising, but, and like it actually does like it, so much, like, you know, with TV and advertising. Yeah. They have to, yeah. like, there's people, like, they have to change things. And yep. It's a pretty crazy time, yeah. But just like that period piece, like, like the, the alcohol and the cigarettes, it's like, Everywhere. It's everywhere. It's prominent. Yep. Ah, Emma Grayling. She was the psychic in the episode where Matt Smith went to that weird little place with the creature. Okay. Yeah. She's yeah. the psychic from that. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. She was in a Doctor Who episode. The, uh, she was the younger girl in the, the big assistant. house. Yeah. yeah okay. In that big house and stuff. All right. Yeah. I recognize her. Okay. So that was her. Yeah. There okay. might have been a cool. few others that maybe I don't know either, but, but yeah, there were a couple. That was with the space woman that got stuck in time. Yeah, they're like the great, first great time traveler, something like that, right? Yeah. Great, great, well, not the first great, time traveler. She was just the first human time traveler, right? Yeah. yeah. That's okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, okay. Well, it was great. I had no idea what to expect when you started it. Like when it first started, I'm like, God damn it, we're watching another one of those old ones. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be like, well, this is. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> like the uh, yeah, well, the Rassilon assassin droid. Yeah. I love that. We wouldn't have gotten that. We I never know. would have seen that. We it's precious, that. I understand. I and obviously, uh, the master. Yeah. Like when he came back and we we're like, holy shit. You know? But yeah, I get you. So that, that was cool. Adventure in space and time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was nice. Yeah. Uh, I, I like dude, uh, David Bradley. Bradley. David Bradley, is that yeah. what it is? Yeah. yeah. Like I, just, he, I feel like he he has a nice William Hartnell look to him. And he, mm-hmm. just, he really does. I like mean, I don't know about the I, actor himself and how yeah. he portray, how he acted and portrayed. You know, how, like was yeah. it very similar to how William Hartnell portrayed Doctor Who or yeah. just talking at it? But yeah, I think look wise he does a pretty good job. I mm-hmm. think he looked more like him than the one they got in because I think the five doctors he had already passed whenever they did that mm-hmm. and they got someone else to cover him during that yeah. time. Yeah, I think. Uh, Bradley looks better than that guy. Did. Mm-hmm. Sure. As far yeah, as I mean, other guy. it's weird ha- watching this, having seen so much Doctor Who, knowing like how important it is to people and how long it's been, and I mean, it's been a part of my life for two years now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I had never seen the Inception, so I don't have the reference to what actually took place on screen, and I'm just watching it here. I feel like it's a very unique perspective where I'm like. I feel like a weird kinship with this man, mm-hmm. but I shouldn't. But you don't, yeah. Because I don't. Well, you, guys, don't you can do. fill it in your head, yeah. like what it means to people. Yeah. No, I. It was great. You know, I think. Uh, what's his name? Bradley. David, David Bradley. David Bradley. Yeah, he he was great, man. When he was in tears at the end. I've never it's seen a, him in a role. It's my second like favorite that. role he's yeah. in. Yeah. 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 What, what role are you talking about? Is your favorite? Abraham's a trackian from the strain. He's oh, a vampire okay. hunter. Yeah. All right. That sounds yeah. interesting. But he's usually like a gruff. Mean man, you yeah. Know? And this week was a very sweet. Well, that's running like out the kids. Walter, right? Yeah, Walter, Walter Frey. Yeah. yeah, he yeah. plays him. And, and he Filch plays from Harry Potter. Filch yeah. from Harry Potter and stuff. And there's yeah, he's he's been a lot. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I love this he's scene the, though. The collector from that one episode. I love this scene though of him like with all those kids that come over like that's Doctor great. Who, Doctor Who, and he's like, come on to the TARDIS, let's go. He's like when, a, when like when a kid goes up and sees like an old. Fat man with a beard, and they think it's Santa. Yeah, and those guys just play along. Yeah, you know? it reminded me of that. Yeah, it's like not even a guy that's playing Santa, just an old fat guy with a beard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For me as a kid, that would've been like if I was younger and I saw like, like Luke Skywalker or something like that. You know, I saw Mark, Mark Hamill, Hamill yeah. somewhere. I'm like, oh, Luke Skywalker, can I have your autograph, Luke Skywalker? Sure. You yeah. know, and he's like, you know, you gotta trust the force, and you do that. Like, oh, I got to play with Luke Skywalker. It's so cool. Like that yeah. would've been like me. For me, yeah. For me, it's 
I was at Halloween one time, and obviously I knew everybody was in a costume, but there was a guy that looked like his Batman costume was so great, I thought he was Batman. Yeah. <laughs> I remember and, like, you telling us And, like, my this. dad and mom wouldn't let me, like, I just wanted to follow him around the whole time, see where he was going. Yeah. <laughs> Batman going, Dad. Like, that's Batman. Look at him. Look at his balance. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's no dad, costume. that is Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. Yeah, I, I remember doing that kind of yeah. shit when I was a kid, and your parents being like, okay, okay, but really they're thinking, you fucking, that's not Batman. That's Carl. <laughs> It's made you know? up. That's Will. <laughs> Some things that happened in this, I know. Like, I, I was quite certain I'd heard at one point that, um, I don't remember it being Kennedy, but for some reason, yeah. they re-aired the premiere pilot sure. episode of Doctor Who because something else had happened. I couldn't remember what it was. Yeah. but Somebody had said something about, like, something that we had watched in Doctor Who that had come up for some reason, but I can't remember why. Maybe we were talking about Kennedy or something, or... No, the doctor was at Kennedy's assassination in, like, the first episode, right? Because there was a conspiracy guy. Yeah. And he said, look here. And they're looking at Kennedy's thing. Mm-hmm. And then someone had mentioned, like, that's, you know, the doctor actually aired when that happened and they had to re-air it. Yeah, I remember that now. Okay. So, I remember having a conversation about that before. So, that, like, with having, like, that, I'm like, okay, so that was, seemed factual. Like, was everything in this factual? Was some things they took liberties for? I'm sure there's I mean, some liberty to make a good story. At the same time, I'm like, okay, well, the Kennedy thing I know is real. Yeah. I doubt that he looked and saw Matt Smith, you know? Like, yeah. Well, of course. So, like, See, it's the spirit. Okay, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm wondering. Like, what does that mean? I mean, it can mean a, a bunch of different things. I think it's just like the legacy will live on. See, like all the hard work and strife you got to this place. They, they talked will about last like, for another fifty years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they talked about like what he created and he want. You know, he was proud of it. And he wanted to continue, and you know, you can't have Doctor Who without Doctor Who. But, they, but seeing like him kind of being able to feel that in the future there still is Doctor Who even without him, yeah. but that it can continue. I think is kind of you what they're looking at yeah. there. Well, I mean, when I looked at him looking at Matt Smith, I didn't see Matt Smith. I looked at that was the Doctor. Yeah, yeah. Not like the Doctor yeah. came and visited. Yeah, when but, you but that, it, it's confusing yeah. if you think about no, it. No, I think it's a. You met him. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a visualization of what he feels like and sees whenever the kids are looking at him and they see something else. Yeah, I mean, he knows he's not that. But to them, they see this, and he had that moment being the kid and seeing the next thing. Yeah, yeah. I think and that was that, that was his most joyful was playing with those kids and hearing his granddaughter and stuff. Yeah, because like, yeah. actually in the beginning, I, was, I don't think he was like a sweet old guy as much. Like I think Doctor Who. Well, yeah, with his daughter, he was like ah. Granddaughter, grand, granddaughter. Like, he yeah. brought it brought that out of him. Silly girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, told, I told her already. <laughs> I told her once. <laughs> what? But no, yeah. um, I also like seeing like. The creation of the TARDIS. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm like, so did they really get kind of blown off? And the guy was like, here's your TARDIS. Like, is that a real thing? <laughs> you know, like, that looks great. He's yeah. like, what? Damn it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sure there's... Good. It's like, <laughs> it's like potato <laughs> chips. I'm sure there's some inaccuracies or things that make the movie better. Like, if they were like, yeah, we're going to replace it. He's like, what? Fuck you. There's a doctor back to me. Burn it. Burn it to the ground. You yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> I, burns I do remember that there was a thing that uh. Hartnell had said, like, and they said it in this too, but he had said that like, if, if they were going to replace him, the only person he wanted to replace him was uh, Tr- Patrick. Is Trump. that a real yes. thing? Trofton. Interesting. So even though we didn't hear him say it to Sydney, we heard him say it to Trofton. Yeah. So I was, I don't know if they're just saying that. But, like he's like, hey, hey, I told him there's no one else but you, but it was really like Sydney's like, what do you think of this guy? He's like, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know, you know, where the truth lies in that, but that was something that was said that he had done. I am curious, what happened to his granddaughter? Like that was like his granddaughter, like by blood, right? Is she a time lord or is she half time lord, half human? Um, I believe they both came from X. Okay. So like they both would have came from Gallifrey. Sure. And then traveled places. He came to Earth. She was a student there, I guess, learning things or something or another. Um, but um, I think he took her back to Gallifrey. Is it implied he took that her back she died home. in the time lord? She said she was 400 years old at one point, didn't she? Maybe. She said something about her being old, yeah. So I guess it's implied that she passed away in the time war because he's the only one left. Well, the other line they had, though, which this may be the case as well, was that he says something like, you know, you're to be with David. So it could have been that they came across and they met somebody, mm. and then she stayed, stayed with, with him. him. Okay. You know, he's like, you don't need to be with some gruff old man like me. Go be with David. That's who you should be with. Yeah. Yeah, David so. dies. She just sticks around and regenerates. And... Yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I didn't watch it back then, so. Yeah. yeah. I don't know whether so. that was... Because they had other companions, too. Well, I don't know through, whether that... through this, they had at least six, right? Yeah. So. It was always depressing when a new companion showed up. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. When they Which did guess, the press photos and I stuff. I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I love seeing, though, the... Like I said, the Dalek creation. 
I love uh, the TARDIS creation. I love seeing the Dalek yeah. creation. You know, yeah. the conversation about I don't want robots. I don't want bug-eyed monsters. Yeah. Yeah. Instead, you get a bug-eyed robot. You know. Yeah. And cool. I also love seeing the first Cyberman there, just smoking a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Well, I, I love um, Verity, like just how her. Her, her conviction and her belief in the project. Sure, and obviously... Because that's how hard it is to get something made. It, that, even when it's good, sometimes it doesn't work out. With a woman producer, too. Especially, yeah. yeah. And they had never and had an Indian director. Yeah. 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 They were both, like, outcasts in the um, industry. Yeah. 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 Like, like, they did a great job, like... Everyone is a stranger in a strange land. Yeah. As soon as that guy popped up, I'm sitting here like, I know this yeah. man intimately. I didn't, I didn't hear like, that. I first, know him so well, seconds. but I can't place it. Davos. Yeah. Well, that's about 13 se- episodes of that guy. Yeah. Or more, because he was in the other season. Uh, yeah, yeah. seasons. Okay. No, it was... I don't know. I, I really liked it. Like I said, I, first I thought it was going to be more documentary. <laughs> yeah. But it was just kind of like a... I like, I like this. I uh, really like Mark this a lot, Mark Gatniss uh, wrote, so he yeah. he's written on Doctor Who. I don't know what this would be... What would this be called? Like a drama mentory? Yeah, and it'd be like you a know? biopic. Yeah. Um, okay. Or like a bio about Doctor Who starting. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Like, it used to be like what we talked about, we're like, hey, they ever did a thing about us. Yeah. And like, I want, I want Chris Pratt, yeah. and you get Bjorn, and you right. get that guy. That one guy. It's the, <laughs> it's the uh, you can't even remember his name. That ripped son of a bitch. Crossbones, right? Crossbones. That guy? Yeah. It's uh, based on a true story. Uh, Adrian Brody? Yeah. Is that who it was? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he picked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got two. Adrian Brody or Adrian Brody? <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> Ian Brody or Marcus Brody? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the, the based on a true story thing, it's always like, well, you know, it's, it's cool. Because I, I always love, like, at the end where they tell you where these people went. And yeah. Like that. Yeah, that's cool. Well, but I, I love the side change by for side dramatic too. purposes. You yeah. Know? yeah. Well, I, was, I love, like, the end there where he's talking to his wife and he's like, I don't want to go. Yeah, that was and sad. Then, yeah, it's sad there. But then you also relate it to, like, David Tennant when he left. Well, I thought I David Tennant. Know, and, and then I thought of fucking Spider Man. I was like, oh, God damn. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And they say that shit. It's so sad. Go. Hits me everywhere. Yeah. So it's just when old men cry, it's the worst fucking thing. Cause you know they're, cause they're crying. Cause old men don't cry for nothing. I, they're was, crying from experience. It's because yeah. you. you know, this is one of the worst of, things that's happened. They have a lifetime of yeah. failures. Yeah. It's just that you you respect your elders and you know you're constantly looking for like a like a. a a patriarch or a father figure to look up to and to find their respect so when they're vulnerable you feel vulnerable yeah, yeah. you know I absolutely loved that he was concerned with where all the buttons were because Me too. the kids would notice yeah because that's the kind of shit when I was a kid I'd be like hey he didn't push that button to open the doors last time yeah uh-huh. this shit's fake well I love that when every time he's like alright then you open it he's like I can't do that he's like well what the button's on the other side of the console. He's a matter of course that matters, you fool. <laughs> I might have appreciated, or I, I mean, obviously, it might not have ever happened, but if, like, the successor would have come up and he taught them all the yeah. buttons, because no one else in the crew seemed to care. But it would have been cool if maybe, ah, dude, I, I get it, I care. Yeah, yeah that, well, what I was thinking is, like, maybe he was, like, oh, I know where it is. Like, it was going to, like, affirm his belief that, okay, he is the right one. This this guy can be the like, doctor. he did his research. Yeah, and, yeah. that's yeah. what I thought. It would be right. great but yeah. if he asked him, Push the button to close the doors. Yeah. And he's like, goes there, pushes the right button. He's like, all right. Yeah. And he's like, cry, like, shakes his head. Oh, man. Nah. 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 Making me oh, cry more. Get another one. It just, it just has that, that comparison between, like, you have the people that are working on it, and that's their job. Yeah. But then you have him who's looking at this as, like, this is, like, a legacy. This is something yeah. more, you know? And, like, when him and Verity and uh, the director, and they were talking about, like, making something great, you know? It just, it's, it's more than just... That one guy who's fucking there being like, he's used to heat. Yeah. Get, the, get the fuck out of here. I, uh, I like the little details they throw in there that show inspiration for the doctor. Like, uh, he doesn't like goodbyes. This guy, yeah. you know, doesn't like the change, but Doctor Who is, it is change. It is goodbyes. It is, you know. Yeah. Time travel. Yeah. Well, in the really. talk, too, whenever, like, the, the granddaughter's talking to him, and he's yeah. like, you're the doctor. Do you heal people? Do you help people? And like, he's like, he doesn't really have an answer. He's yeah. Like, oh. Do I help? Yeah. yeah. And I feel like that comes back. Like, that's what the doctor does. The doctor helps people. That's yeah. the whole thing, you know? He always goes somewhere. There's some bad things happening. He saves everyone's lives. Sure. Yeah. Makes Man. them better. I gotta say, it is a damn shame that they lost footage for yeah. Doctor Who. Yeah. Like, there was a whole studio. They, they that, aired it, and then they just, they needed the film, and it's re recorded over it. Well, there was, there was some film that was either burned or disposed of yeah. improperly. Disposed. Like, they shouldn't have gotten rid of sure. it or whatever. I know there, there was, was some, one, yeah, that they just recorded over. There was one time that there was some, like, st- 
studio or like newsroom in like fucking I don't know. I'm just gonna say Egypt. I don't know where the hell it was. It was somewhere else. It wasn't in Britain. Yeah. There was some other like newsroom somewhere, and they had just recordings of Doctor Who. They just found some. Yeah, that's cool. Where like at the very least it gave audio, if not giving video and audio. Yeah, and then they did like a visualization of it. Because right? well, yeah, they have several audio uh, recordings of various episodes, and then they've animated them. Sure. So you can that's watch cool. the animation with the original audio for yeah. and stuff too. That's cool. I just I'd be so frustrated if I like started from the beginning, and then I, there was ones I just couldn't watch anymore. Yeah. yeah. Or if you started from what you thought was the beginning, but you're missing another, I don't know, 50 episodes beforehand, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, well, shit! Some of the greatest old ones are gone, you know? Mm-hmm. Or it goes like 1, 2, 10, 17, you know? And you're just like, how the hell did they get here? <laughs> you missed this cliffhanger. I wish I love that cliffhanger, too. It's like, is there any radiation? No, it's fine, Grandpa, you know? Yeah. And then they walk away. The sound is Yeah, it's that sound. All because I dial. That's funny. What do you think of them, those mothy bug people? I'm sure they exist. The somewhere. butterfly men. <laughs> I love those, those things. Yeah, hilarious. I love those. I uh, I really enjoy the the little detail that the the TARDIS sound is a house key going key. up and down the, the line. The springs. That's so cool. Yeah. I mean, that reminds me of like the lightsaber being the movie projector that Ben Burt would when he was you know doing projectors in the summer. He would turn it on. He would hear. Mm, he always thought it was a magical, powerful sound of the yeah. movie projector. <laughs> he's like, I didn't make that sound. That's going to be the lightsaber. So I was like, that. And it reminds me of that. So I think it's cool. I loved watching, too, the first, like, them making the song, too. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. Like, on that little piano thing. That was cool. Yeah. I, like, I like a lot of it. Like, I, I also, it. also, like, once I, once I understood what was going on, I kept thinking back to the very first thing where it's like, all right, Mr. Hartnell, let's go. He's like, leave me alone. You know, silly woman, or whatever he said, because he. Cause he it was his last time. Mm-hmm. And I didn't really realize that until I saw the Cybermen. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure the first time Cybermen showed up was the last episode he was gotcha. in. And like that was the reason he had to regenerate was because of the Cybermen hurting him or whatever gotcha. happened. So it's just, okay. I was like, okay, so that's why he's upset because he's realizing this is his last time mm-hmm. being the Doctor. So It's weird just like, we've had three Doctors so far in our watch. I'm just like accepting that. Like, yeah, that's, that's David Rowley. He's one of the doctors too. But he wasn't. He played the guy. Played the doctor. That four. Yeah. Well, if, yeah. If, yes. If you count, you gotta count the movie. We saw his. Yeah. Yes. Well, if we count the movies that we've seen, we've had a couple with the five doctors. Well, yeah, too. but we saw like the entire. I, yeah. Entire <laughs> run of the eighth. Doctor. You were right. Yeah. Of the eighth doctor. No, I, there's some audio stuff we don't. Yeah, know. but there's also audios of all the other ones sure. too. So. But what I'm just saying, like, I can just accept. <laughs> yeah, he's the doctor. That's the know? doctor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just waiting to accept John Hurt now, too. Hmm. When I get to that. I don't know when we'll do that. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys don't want to miss any of the Doctor Who coming up the rest of this week, make sure you subscribe and check out Early Access because some stuff's already there. Day of the Doctor's already there if you're yep. watching this on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be good times. Oh, look, there's Blindwave merch at our oh, store oh, down below. Oh. Bye, guys. Mm-hmm.